Hi, we're back. It's 2017 and I'm so glad to be back to support you, to educate you and to empower you. If you just found out you had a baby, that you're pregnant or you've just had your baby or you're planning to go into labor, these videos are done for you so that you can get the right information to be able to make the right decisions for you and your baby. This is Nurturing Moms with Shiro Shira. So I'm going to ask you a question. Why do people feel they want to give pregnant moms information? Total strangers will come up to a pregnant mom and give her advice. They really feel they want to tell her something about labor, what to expect, or what to eat and what not to eat. Now, one common advice pregnant, pregnant moms get is that they need to leave their dignity at the door when they're going to have their baby. And Shiro is here to tell you today that birth can be dignified. There is a lot of blood that I've seen as a nurse, as a doula. There's blood, there's poo, yes, pregnant moms uh, in delivery, they do sometimes poo and that is absolutely normal. There's crying, uh, they have no makeup on and their hair is looking scruffy. Sometimes they vomit and that's just the raw, graphic, um, powerful and most beautiful part of labor and delivery. The fact about whether a, a birth can be dignified or undignified only has to do with how you treat the mom. Dignity is how you treat the mom. There's dignity in the way a husband or partner um, hugs, massages, soothes uh, his pregnant wife. There's dignity in the way a midwife will come into the room and introduce herself, uh, explain each and every procedure that she wants to do, asks for your consent and shows some empathy and compassion for you who is in labor. This dignity in the way a doula cares for you, supporting you, educating you, giving you the right information, massages you, physically, emotionally, she's there for you. There's dignity in the way your doctor uh, will treat you, not just like an another one of his patients, but as an individual that you've come and this is probably your first time to have a baby. This is the first time you're in labor. You don't know what to expect. He's explaining everything to you. He's showing you em empathy. He's caring for you. He's answering your husband's questions. He's explaining what he needs to do to your husband. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask her to take down her panties. I'm gonna ask her to open up her legs just so that I can do a vaginal exam. He's explaining all those things. So ladies, yes, there's blood, lots of blood. There's vomit sometimes. There's tears, there's moans, there's groans, there's poo, and there's nudity too, but birth, can be dignified. So let's stop advising pregnant moms who are about to go into labor that they need to leave their dignity at the door. No, you can be respected and birth can be dignified. I really want to wish you the very best as you go into labor, as you prepare for your birth and don't be afraid and don't t take the advice that you need to leave dignity at the door. Birth can be dignified. So do you want a dignified birth? I'd really advise you to get a doula and we do offer doula services so if you are pregnant about to go into labor think about having a doula a doula will be able to help you have a positive birth experience and your birth experience is something you remember for the rest of your lifetime so let's have a, a good experience and look for a doula if you want to attend a childbirth class we do offer childbirth classes February class is almost closing up we have three more slots so if you want to join that class starting on the 4th of February we have three more slots, so our social media platform details are below. You can email, you can text, you can WhatsApp, you can call so that you can join the February class and learn. We're here to support you, educate you, and to empower you. My name is Shiro Shera, and this is Nurturing Moms.